is a classic New England vacation, renting a beach house on the Cape. But a bill that's up for debate right now could make that less affordable. Chris McKinnon tonight takes a closer look at how it could raise prices all over the state. For those of us landlocked all year, a view like this can be a piece of heaven for a week or two each summer. Choose a seaside hotel and you'll pay a tax on your room. Rent a house down the street and there's no surcharge right now. It would allow towns and municipalities to levy the same rooms tax that currently exists for most establishments to short-term rentals of vacation homes or condominiums. State Senator Dan Wolf represents the Cape and the Islands. He says his district is financially crushed providing services to so many visitors. Wolf co-authored a bill to give cities and towns the option to implement a tax to help pay those bills. Chatham, for example, just one community on the Cape, it could mean as much as a million dollars uh, of revenue for the town. At Martha's Vineyard, an analysis has been done that it would raise almost four and a half million dollars in Dukes County. If passed, this bill would also generate money for the state. If communities decide to participate, the state's 5.7 percent tax would be added to each room. Then cities and towns could also add up to another six percent on top of that. Any cost increase is something I would factor into my vacation plans, sure. On the streets of Falmouth, tourists say a potential surcharge of hundreds of dollars for a vacation rental could impact their plans. So if you could go up to Maine instead and do the same sort of thing without the tax, probably would go there. Like if you're going to impose such a tax, you have to do it statewide. Falmouth realtor Dennis Murphy is worried how this bill could affect people who buy vacation homes and might need to cover their expenses. If Falmouth was the only town to have that tax in the area, it would really hurt our overall property values in this town because people that look to, to buy a vacation rental home and supplement their expenses with a couple weeks of rentals will say, well, Falmouth's not vacation rental friendly. Why don't I try doing that in a surrounding town instead? Supporters believe the Cape and all of Massachusetts is enough of a vacation magnet that a tax like this won't scare anyone away. We need to make sure that we have sufficient revenue so that people want to come back and visit us and enjoy the, the, the incredible uh, places that we have to offer. Chris McKinnon, WBZ News.